Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and in this video we're going to continue on with one of the previous videos, in which case we created our custom data structure, and what I want to do in this one is show you how to convert it between already existing types. Now, for example, this case, uh, this could be used for things like RPCs to reduce the amount of bytes being sent over the network by just having a location rotation, using that to spawn an actor or something like that. Now, when you get to where you would want to actually spawn the actor, you have to have an F transform. So we can do that pretty easily in C++. However, there's a little trick to it for making it work in Blueprint. So I'll show you the C++ first. So in our character here, I'm just going to go ahead and include it. And let's head down to, we'll just do touch started. So what was it? Uh, F my custom data structure, data structure. And let's convert this to a F transform. So F transform, my converted transform equals data structure. So as you can see here, it complains. There's no real way to convert it, no viable constructor as it states. So we head over to our data type. What we can do here is operator F transform. So we're basically creating a constructor for the F transform that will convert this type from itself to an F transform. So we're going to go ahead and it is going to basically return a F transform. So we have to create the F transform. And if we look through the list of constructors here for it, it can take in a rotation and a vector. So rotation and location. So we'll do rotation and location. And even though this is not necessarily a vector, it has its own functionality to convert to a vector. So you can see here, we are now converting, well, constructing the F transform like so. So now when we head back, as you can see, it is no longer complaining. So that's how you can do that in just pure C++. And this isn't anything on Unreal Engine specific. This is just general stuff. Now, now that we have that, I'll just actually spam control Z. That's probably a little bit easier. How do we make use of it in Blueprint? So for example, here we have our custom data structure. And I want to plug it into spawn transform. Well, there's two ways we can do that. One is to just have a static function that you would drag off and call, and we would call it like a convert to transform or something like that, and then drag that output pin into the spawn transform. Or there's a way we can set up to where we drag and drop, and it's automatically done. So to do that, you need to create a blueprint functions library. At least this is the ideal way. So let's go ahead and create a public section and create our function. So we're gonna do a U function, it's going to be the type blueprint pure, and we're going to give it the meta of blueprint autocast. Now you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to do by the name, but basically, well, actually you can read it here, and it's only for static functions, but it'll basically autocast the, the name to our type. So we're going to do a static, let's do f transform as the return type, because that's what we want to convert it to, and give it the name of convert custom to transform. And we want it to take in a reference to our type. So constant f my custom data structure as it's okay, I guess it's not gonna do it. Fine, I'll type it in myself. Structure. Uh, let's just call it data structure. Now I'm gonna have to go ahead and include that. So include data types that age. All right, so here's our setup. We take in a reference to our data structure that we're gonna to convert to a F transform. So what we do here is just return it. So we return, uh, let's do, well, data structure. And why is it lagging? Where'd my mouse go? Okay, there it goes. Okay, something happened. Data structure. So we can just return this directly because we already created the way to convert it right here. So if I were to, for example, comment this out, head back over to it, you can see it would complain. So we would have to, you know, construct an F transform out of the data structure dot rotation, and then the data structure dot location like so, and then it would be happy. But because we set it up already done like so to auto convert it, it's happy, it's satisfied, right like that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and run live coding, and hopefully this doesn't actually break anything. Okay, so now when I drag and drop, as you can see, it automatically filled it out for us. So when we drag and drop, it automatically calls convert custom to transform. And that's all there really is to it. So hopefully you found that useful. I'm starting to use this more and more. So I'll see you in the next video.